Hello everybody, today we are going to learn how to make a convergence quilt. These are the step-by-step -step instructions on how the convergence technique works, so you can add this piece to your tiny quilt collection. First, select your fabrics. Choose four different shades. For this project, I chose autumn tones, but any four fat quarters will do for a project like this. Next, from each fabric, cut one 17-inch square. Call them square A, square B, square C, and square D. Cut each square into strips of the following widths. Cut two one inch strips, two one and a half inch strips, two two inch strips, two two and a half inch strips, and one three inch strip. Cut the same size strips from squares B, C, and D. Arrange the strips so that A strips and B strips alternate. A strips should descend in width from left to right, and B strips descending from right to left. Next, sew the strips together. This makes block A, B. Repeat the steps with squares C and D, and sew the strips together to form block C, D. Cut blocks A, B, and C, D horizontally into strips of the following widths. Arrange the strips so AB strips and CD strips alternate, as shown. Sew the strips together and finish the convergence quilt. And here we are with the completed convergence quilt. Very fun, very simple, and definitely a technique to add to your arsenal. So this completes the convergence tutorial. Be sure to check out some of the videos on the variations you can use and let your mind go wild with the possibilities. Until next time. For this project, we're going to use three different colors. Choose a light, medium, and dark color. From each fabric, cut 10 inch blocks. Cut four of your light color, eight of your medium color, and four of your dark color. Cut each block into the following strip widths. One, one and a half, two, two and a half, and three inch. Arrange the light and medium strips as shown. Then sew the strips together. Do the same with the medium and dark strips. Sew the strips together. Flip the blocks and iron in opposite directions. Horizontally cut the blocks to the following strip widths. Arrange the strips alternating and sew together. This creates one quadrant of the convergence quilt. Create three more. Arrange the four convergence quilts into one big quilt in quadrants. Decide the orientation that you would like to use for this quilt.